Hi Hammerheads, thanks for tuning in. You know what, right? I'm watching this film at the minute. And bloody spiders up there, I tell you what. Sunshine cleaning. Never seen it before in my life. I bought this, God, about. <laughs> Must have been nearly two years ago. It's quite good at, at the moment. Mm. But anyway, you know I've had this spider running around for a few days. Well, it's in the kitchen before. Same one. So I'll, I'll give its leg a little nudge to get it under something. Because if the cat sees it, she'll have it. She'll bloody kill it. She'll not eat it, but she'll you know, play with it until it's dead. So I thought, go on, don't mate, mate, don't know. You're very vulnerable. TP's gonna have you. But you know what, right? There's bloody two up there now, right? Watch this, right? There's one there, right? The zoom's not working. Oh, there. There's one up there. And if you go along the wall, they've separated a little bit now, but... There's one up there, I don't know. Yeah, definitely siblings, them two, definitely, 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 but you know what, right, you know what, Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit drunk, but I'm not that bad. All the spiders in my place, right, if they don't die because the cat gets all of them, because they're foolish enough to venture along the floor on carpets and kitchen floors and stuff like that, they're safe in the bathroom because the cat Never ventures into there. So. But. Two ways to die I think. The cat kills them. Or. They die of starvation. Ah you might think that's a bit weird. What you on about. What you on about Trev. Die of starvation. I'll tell you what I mean, right? See... Right, watch this, right? I mean... They definitely must get stoned off my spliffs. They have to. I mean... There wouldn't be real spiders if they didn't. I mean... Yeah, they get stoned, and guess what? They get that stoned, right? Of my fumes. They can't be bothered to spin webs anymore. Oh, I can't be bothered, I just want to chill. And, um, it's like... What the bloody hell? I'm not going to bother doing things like that, man. So, as a result of that... No web. No food. So they bloody starved to death just because they were bloody stoned in the first bloody place. Shame on them. My arachnid friends. Yeah. Well, it's not their fault, I. Right? And I'll tell you something else, you know. Yes, no, you come here, come here. No. You're always killing them and all, aren't you? Yeah? Aren't ya? Yeah. 
Go on then. Yeah, so them spiders up there. They'll have a nice life while it lasts. Every time I put Pink Floyd on as well, you know, or Caravan or Camel or Alquin, some early 70s pro rock band, they seem to dance, them spiders. They do the bloody dance all over the place. <laughs> Might be my eyes, I don't know, but it's like, ooh, I've got spiders in my house. The Pink Floyd fans, oh, isn't that brilliant? Brilliant. Yep, it's getting further and further away. And guess what? I've got my girlfriend's dressing gown on. Because it makes, well, it gives me the impression that she's closer to me if I'm wearing her garment. Yep, I mean, obviously it's not mine, the bloody hell. But, there you go, she's coming round tomorrow, and um, I'm going to spoil her rotten for three days and three nights. <laughs> she can even watch me magic spiders up there. <laughs> what is that noise? Oh, I don't know, there's some funny things going on round here lately. You know, me wheelie bins, again, ended up, oh, it was windy. Not just down the bloody garden path, but outside the garden gate and all. And I thought, why, well, I'm just going to leave it. And it was me recycling bin, me thin blue one. And I thought, why, well, I'll just leave it right. And then... Um, because it was empty, it just been emptied that morning. Then guess what? It was back in its proper place today, when I went to Mowles. My neighbours are alright, you know what I mean. I mean, they might be a bit strange and all that, and they'll probably come from one of Saturn's moons, like Titan or something. But, you know, they're alright, you know what I mean. God almighty, bloody fast. The other one's not even moved. I'll tell you what, right, I'll leave them alone. Just ignore them. I mean, you know, it might take them a few months to get dead stoned. That's if I don't um, blow smoke in the faces. I normally do that just for a laugh, and then they just drop off the wall. It's dead funny. Don't, doesn't kill them, though, they just get back up and <coughs> but you know what see spiders in my house right I just leave them alone because might as well don't do you any harm I mean well they're not exact I mean some people think right say to me and that and that bloody cat's in the bog again I can hear you Hoying litter all over the bloody place, you know what I mean? She's definitely getting some nappies. Let's get, I'm going to get her some huggies. Otherwise she'll end up in, well, one of her legs will be barbecued in the summer. Shut up. Um, right. I mean, some people see a big spider in the house. I've done it. I've on many occasion. I mean, I was little in, God, when was it, 1972? Seen this spider. I was already a kid at the time, so it looked that big. But in reality, it was like pfft, an inch in diameter. Now, an inch in diameter seems like a big arachnid, but, you know, in the Amazon jungle, the biggest spider in the world, the Goliath bird eater. That can span a dinner plate. 
Imagine that. A large dinner plate and its fans are an inch long. We see a spider an inch in diameter in England and we think, oh God, it's massive. Imagine a spider with fangs that's an inch long. <laughs> I mean, you know, I can give you a nasty bite and that, but it'll not kill you. The venom doesn't really affect humans. It just gives you a sort of hot sensation for a few hours and that. Still, but the biggest spider in England actually lives down south. Mm. In a, it's only in a few um, counties that you can find them, and it's normally in swamp areas and marshes and bogs and places like that. So another kind, of, another spider that doesn't actually spin webs. Not as far as I know. They, they live on, they're called the raft spider. Because they live in the, on the water, on the surface. It's got to be clean though. It's got to be like marshes and stuff. Polluted water, they wouldn't survive. And they live on small marine life. Green fly, all, all sorts of things that land on the river and all. On the river, on the bloody water. They're the largest, 75 millimetres in diameter, and that's quite bloody big. And the chunky spiders and all, wouldn't like to be bitten off one of them. They're the largest in England. You can only normally find them in like places like, oh, I don't know, Hampshire, maybe Suffolk, you know. It's been even cases in, in South Wales. They've, they've seen some of them. The raft spider, look out for them. They're about that bloody big. They're huge and they've got lovely stripy markings on them. Oh! -ho! But the most deadly one in the world is the Sydney funnel web. So called because it resides in and around Sydney. Hmm. That's the only place in Australia you'll find one of them. See, they, they leave their habitats, especially in the warm months. And, you know, they end up in people's garages or in the homes, getting through cracks in your windows, whatever. And they're quite bloody big. One of them bites you right, and it's a really painful bite because their fangs are capable well, the strength of the bite is capable of piercing a human toenail, and that is bloody, oof, doesn't bear thinking about, does it? And depending what kind of health you're in, one of them bites you, you could have as little as 10 to 15 minutes left to live. But on the other hand, you could live for a couple of hours, but it's a horrible, horrible venom. You know, it doesn't affect dogs or cats. Oh, painful enough for them, but the venom doesn't hurt them. Oh, I wouldn't like to be bitten by one of them, man. And the males, which is pretty unusual in the spider world, the males bloody a lot bigger and more aggressive, whereas the females are like twice as small and they'll run away because you know the Sydney funnel web well it's got like the nickname now of the pit bull of the spider world isn't it because um, well you know that's because it's vicious like one I mean you walk across the fucking kitchen floor on your bare feet right and there's one in there in, on the kitchen floor He'll bloody run after you and jump on you and bite you just for the hell of it. Bloody bite you as soon as look at you, them bloody things, man. Anyway, oh, hammerheads. I didn't intend this vi video to be a lecture on bloody spiders, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Good night, hammerheads. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry about that, lads and lasses.